Hey guys, Mo here again. Today we're talking popcorn. No, not that cheap stuff you throw in the microwave, but the good stuff. I'm talking about these real fresh kernels. Here I have a quarter and a cup. I mean, sorry. Yeah, quarter cup of kernels. That's all you're gonna need. What? Oh, let me get this straight. You're saying that this can't possibly make that much, right? This is a personal serving, and believe me, it makes a lot more than you think. First time I made popcorn, I put it just a whole bunch in. It filled up a giant pot, and there was no space. A uh, quarter cup is a personal serving. If you want about the same amount as those microwavable bags, then you put half a cup. I know it doesn't look like much, but trust me, you will see the difference. I've got one of these things here with a crank. That way when you spin it around, around, you can spin the popcorn. That way the ones that are popped are moving and they don't stay burnt. And the ones that um, haven't popped yet, they stay down where the oil is. So, in they go. And the oil. About a teaspoon, more or less, of salt. It all depends on your preference. That way you can give it a crank, like this. Or you can just kind of lift it up a few times as well. What this does is ensure every kernel gets coated with oil. Um, resist, resist the temptation to buy those big expensive machines that look like the ones in theaters. For one, they're no good. They're over a hundred bucks, which is ridiculous. Two, they're a pain to clean. Even though it says they're easy, no. Wiping that whole thing on the inside and, you know, just cleaning the thing from the other inside, it's a pain. You don't want to do it. Plus, it just doesn't spread well with the fat. You know, the oil is here and it's a lot better. Or if you've got a gas stove, you could even use one of these. Put it right on top. Put the oil, salt in, shake it. Wouldn't recommend it, but you could. Gotta keep on cranking. Uh, if you have a gas stove, I wouldn't recommend buying these kind of pots. This is about $20. I'd recommend using a regular pot because I don't know how well it's gonna hold up with the flames. There's nothing wrong with using a regular pot, but if you're a big popcorn eater, which I am, you gotta have one of these. I just love them. See? And believe me, it's a lot cheaper to buy popcorn this way. The other way cost about some ridiculous price for like nine bags. You can get four and a half pounds for about three bucks. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, no. Hear it popping? Have to shake things up. Turn it to a medium, me uh, sorry, medium high to high heat. That's where you want it. The hottest setting will eventually burn your kernels. Medium high is pretty good. So the second or third highest setting. As you hear it pop, keep shaking. Do that. This pot costs about $20. It's worth the investment. Don't buy an air pop brewer. There's no way to spread the fat. They're not good at all. Because you can only make tiny amounts. So an air pop brewer is just generous to me. What if you like it without any oil or salt or flavor? That's your call. Remember, medium high to high around the range. Don't keep it on the highest setting because you will burn it eventually. Medium high to high. Second last, third last setting. That's what you want to do. You can hear it kind of not popping as much. That means you're done. Leave it is done. Off the heat. Now I'm going to show you just how much popcorn this makes. See? There's a lot more than you might think. Again, this is a personal serving. Some people might want less, but this is only... Remember, all that came from this. Let's scoop it in, shall we? <laughs> That's a little tiny amount that fits in a quarter cup right in the palm of my hand. That's all the kernels I used. Pretty, told you. Pretty impressive. Now again, this is... Whoa. These things cost about 20 bucks. It's kind of pricey, but if you really love popcorn the way I do, it's worth every penny. I'd recommend it. Again, there's other machines that do the spinning thing, which they're not bad, but these things are here. You can put butter inside. Put in when it's at room temperature. Do not put in cold butter. It will melt in a way that tastes so much better. Or even those little tiny butter packets. I work in a restaurant, and believe me, I make it all the time. I throw those packets right in. The popcorn tastes very buttery, but it's uh, not greasy. Best thing ever. People were surprised, and trust me, I made it. Everyone grabbed it so fast, there was barely any for me. But uh, enjoy your popcorn. Thank you. So good.